let me go over to Tashan Books. So Tashan is another famous publisher. I just found out that, yeah, because I, I was doing some research for my video and I found out that the person who started it is German. You might recognize this type of books. Tashan has a lot of these relatively thin books where it talks about one artist. So this one that I have talks about Paul Clay. So this book is on him. Tashin does a lot of books that give good brief introduction of an artist. They have this whole series which is very famous. At the back, if you look here, you can see that they not only have artists but also they have books on architecture and also art movements. I didn't buy so many of their books but I think it's a good start if you want to get to know a certain artist or architecture art movement. For me this series feels kind of academic. Maybe it's because of the design. If you look inside the font and overall layout of the book it feels kind of academic like you should read this for homework, for college. Tashin does not only do books on art but they do a lot of um, furniture design fashion design they have books that are very erotic almost pornographic and their books can be really expensive i guess over like a thousand pounds or something they have a variety of books that are not so expensive affordable but also at the same time it's for like collectibles they are really thick and expensive and like limited editions Obviously this one is not too expensive and it's very thin so it's not gonna take you so long for you to finish this book which is I think nice because if you're too pressured to finish a book then you could never start and they're also famous for this series I think they're famous um, it's called Art Now 3 the one that I have but they have this whole series of Art Nows where they talk about contemporary artists so the one that I just showed you, this series, there's a lot of um, artists who are, who've already passed away, probably almost all of them, and uh, they're very well known, already established artists. But then, this one, this series introduces contemporary artists that are actually working nowadays. So you could get to know about up and coming artist. I mean, this one is already very old, but I know, but I think that this publisher, they always have these new editions of books where they introduce new contemporary artists. That is why I, I think this book publisher is also nice. And this book, I'm just going to take the cover out because it's getting annoying. Um, so if you take the cover off, it looks like this. It's a hardback, but I know that they have this, so this one is kind of like the right book size but they have a really small pocket book sized ones where the letters are obviously smaller and they have the pictures on one full page um and this one so it shows a lot of um contemporary artists and their work some of them are now well known because this book is kind of old like i said it's probably um it was published I can't, I'm, I can't find it. It was it was published in two thousand eight. So the original edition was in two thousand eight, which means that a lot of the artists that were introduced here would now be, I guess, working in the art field and already have become famous. I like Tashan because of these books. But actually my favorite favorite art publishers are not these <laughs> and I'm going to be introducing my favorite favorite art publishers next time in the next video and they're going to be Phidon, uh, Phidon and also Thames and Hudson these two are I think one of my favorite no two of my favorite um, two of my favorite art publishers <gasps> Um, I have over like 10 books and they're all thick and so big. I will be introducing uh, them to you on my next video. But today I have introduced Tashen and Presso books. Let's do the pyramid thing. So here is the icons of 20th century. Icons of art, the 20th century. And I have clay book. And then I have 
Egon Shaley from Prestel landscape book. 50 paintings <laughs> that you should know. Ugh, it's so heavy now. And then we have art now. So these are the books that I kind of briefly introduced to you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.